the Christ I came to know through his grace. I'll die for him any second. It does not sound like Bishop Mamari Emmanuel is afraid of death. Just in case you don't know, Bishop Emmanuel Mamari is the bishop that was recently stabbed while preaching in the church. Three months ago, he was on Patrick by David podcast, that's the PDD podcast, and from the way he spoke, it does not seem like he's afraid of any threat that is coming from the Islamic side or from anybody. It does not seem like he is afraid of any threat at all. I'll die for him any second. I do not give one penny with all love and respect, no matter what happens, because the Christ that came and revealed himself to this piece of wreck is the only one. He is my King, my Lord, my God, my Savior, my Redeemer forever. Towards the end of the podcast, Bishop Emmanuel Mamare started comparing Jesus Christ to other religious systems of the world. Christ is calling us to love him. He is not calling us to follow a set of rules, guidelines, and regulations. He mentioned some of the things religious people do in order to make heaven. But the big question right now is, we all this thing qualify you to make heaven? We all this thing qualify you to be righteous and go to heaven? And let me say this to all the religions of the world. You're talking about you must fast and you must do this and you must you do your penances and whatever you have to do. Let me say this. To enter in the presence of God, who can do what God wants? Who can fulfill the fullness of the law of God? We are nowhere near that perfection to do and abide by what God does. He showed that in the Old Testament, the Israelite nations. Mm -hmm. They failed him from the word go till the very end. Yeah. But he is the never failing God, his mercy that carries us. So when those religions out there with all love and respect, they talk about laws, I'll ask them, are you fulfilling that law? Of course not. You're falling very short of that law. So don't tell me you have to do this where you are failing as a leader. Bishop Emmanuel Mamari also said that Prophet Muhammad failed. Your prophet failed those laws. Your own prophet failed them. Who? Muhammad. And the, and the very reason why Muhammad failed because he's dead. Their book says that. But their book also says about my Messiah, even though the Isa in the Quran is not the Christ of the Holy Bible, totally separate people. But let me tell you one thing. Your book says that Isa, son of Mary, went up to heaven alive and he will come back to judge the dead and the living. This is very interesting. Prophet Muhammad died, but Jesus Christ did not die. He ascended to heaven and he is going to return back to judge everyone, including the Muslim. He is going to come back to be the judge of everyone. That is what even the Quran said and even the Bible said so also. We will, inshallah, wait for the true Messiah which we believe, which is Jesus, peace be on him. He will truly come, not claim to be divine. He will come and rather kill the Dajjal. If I ask a Muslim who judges, they will say God. Well, you're telling me this prophet will judge. So which is which? Has the prophet taken the role of God? Has God gone on vacation and he's come and take his position? No, but Isa is the living Messiah even their book says. Even the Quran mentioned that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. The Quran does say that Jesus is the Messiah. Surah 3 verse 45. And remember when the angels said, O Mary, lo, Allah giveth thee glad tidings of a word from him, whose name is the Messiah, Jesus son of Mary illustrious in the world and the hereafter, and one of those brought near unto Allah. I speak Arabic, I read Arabic, I'm fluent in Arabic. When they say, Amma Isa ibn Maryam fahwa kalimatullahi wa ruhan minhu, but Isa son of Mary, Jesus son of Mary, is the word of God and the spirit of God. The bishop is right again. Allah said, Christ Jesus, the son of Mary was, and the translators add in parentheses, no more than an apostle of God, and his word, which he bestowed on Mary, and a spirit proceeding from him. The verse goes on to attempt to deny the doctrine of the Trinity and the Sonship of Christ, but that doesn't explain why Jesus is the word of Allah and a spirit proceeding from Allah. If you're claiming Asa is a prophet, then how come all the other prophets which you believe in, you believe in Moses, you believe in Isaac, you believe in all the prophets of the Old Testament. How come none of the Old Testament prophets were referred to as the word of God, except Isa? Why? Why is Jesus Christ so different, even in Islam? This is the big question everyone is asking and everyone is looking for an answer to. But Bishop Emmanuel Mamare have an answer to that. How come all the prophets and every single human being on the face of this planet was born 
born of an earthly father and an earthly mother, yet Jesus, son of Mary, was born in a virginal birth. Through a virginal birth, he has an earthly mother, but has no earthly father for his father who art in heaven. Why? This raises question marks. How come this man is different? His birth is different. His life is different. Even his end is different. He went up alive and he will come back to judge because he is different. That's the whole story. He is different, my dear friend, because he is the living God who was revealed in the flesh. He is the Logos, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He is the way, the truth and the life, and there is no one else. He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Yesterday he is, today he is, and forevermore he is. He is the never changing God who was revealed in the flesh over 2000 years ago. And he was crucified, not he was sent up to heaven. No, he was crucified. He died in the flesh on the cross and he was buried, but rose from the dead on the third day, ascended to heaven. And he's been sitting there at the right hand of the father over 2000 years ago. And he will come back again to judge the dead and the living because he's not just a prophet for he is God revealed in the flesh. This is the Jesus I talk about. That's why I fear no one. I fear nothing. Jesus Christ, I not only believe in him, dear Patrick, I know him. I say this with absolute humility. The Lord Jesus revealed himself to this piece of wreck. I don't speak about Jesus just because I believe I'm a Christian or I dress up in this cloth or I have read the Bible, which I have. No, I believe in the Lord and I know the Lord. He is six foot one, long face, tan skin, greenish eyes, browny, crispy hair split in the middle all the way to the shoulders with a very short beard. He has showed me heaven and hell. And let me say this with love and humility. When you go to heaven, I can assure you, I can assure you, not because I'm a Christian, not because I'm a bishop, not because I believe in Jesus Christ, but I can assure you, in heaven you, Muhammad will not greet you, Buddha will not greet you, Krishna will not greet you, because they will not. It, was, it will be only one who is the way, the truth, and the life. It will be Jesus Christ of Nazareth who died for you and me. I'm inviting you to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior because there is no other way. If we don't have him, we are doomed forever. For in him, eternal life lies. When I meet Jesus, I see everyone a piece of dust. What can a man do to me? Oh, they can kill me? Welcome this. I'm sure you heard everything the bishop have said. One thing I'm going to say to us is the attitude of Bishop Emmanuel Mamari is one attitude I really love and I wish all believers, all Christians can have this type of attitude. You see, we live in a world where a lot of people are afraid to die. A lot of people are scared of dying for what they believe in. It is important for us as believers to have this type of attitude. The Bible made us understand that if you try to preserve your life, that you are going to lose it. It's important for us to understand that we are on the last days and this is the time that we must be radical for Jesus Christ. We must be radical in propagating the kingdom message. It's not about being scared. It's not all about shying away from the things we must do. Christians these days are too focused on what God is going to give them, on what God is going to do for them. But this is my message to you. Forget about what God is going to do for you right now. Forget about what you are going to get from the kingdom and start thinking of what you can do for the kingdom. That should be the attitude. Attitude. Stop being afraid of things that you are not supposed to be afraid of and focus on propagating the kingdom message. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please do have to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification bell. So when we post another video, you'll be notified. If you're a returning subscriber, I want to say thank you to you. Thank you for stopping by to watch our video. Please do have to like the video, drop a comment so you too can continue to recommend the video to more people. God bless you as you do so. I will see you in the next video. You are blessed. I have good news for you. what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.